people, 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 people. Ke pa sa sa pa se what they do. Now the thing that is buzzing in the news is an incident that occurred this morning. We are speaking about in Spanish town in which four popo got corned up and at least two of them passed away. And the next one or the next two is apparently in the place of recovery battling for life. We are speaking about critical condition. Now people, when that incident went down this morning, I said... I know that the popo is going to get revenge and I know that the popo is going to get revenge very soon because if there is one thing that we've learned about the popo, they are very vindictive and vengeance is always on their mind and people in this case, it is justified point blank and period. Now people, there's a saying that goes something like this. Revenge is a dish that is best served cold. However, in this case, we saw that it was swift. It was precise. However, it was very cold because based on information that is out there, it is said that the Popo already slapped away one person and we are speaking about in a place called Corville Garden. And the person that got slapped away, his name is Hamilton, Damian, Omar, Coleman, and he is said to be from Manchester, Mandeville to be precise. And this date of birth, October 26, 1981, that means that he is 39 years and some days or some months. So people like the saying goes, you can run, but you can't hide. There's a thing called karma. And if you live by the G-U-N, you are going to certainly D-I-E by the G-U-N. Especially after you slap away a popo. So people, we saw that this man, one out of the three, met their demise. Because based on information, it is said that there was at least, or there were at least, three persons in the house that basically came out and ambushed the popo them. Because they were expecting them. Because based on information, it is said that they got some information. They got a tip that the popo was on its way. So anyways, people, this is the video of the actual incident. In which the popo went from i am not speaking about the actual s-h-o-o-t-i-n-g may i talk about the actual scene of the crime so people take a listen take a look and then i'll give my piece yeah, brother. <laughs> so what are you shooting with your silence are gone See when I drive in, I carry the body now and next week. Right now, over here, I come like on skate and I go on them first. What? That's bad. Brother, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I run the money when I have a road and I see them turn up for me. I see how I go on in a COVID. Now, people, like I said before, vengeance was going to be a must. Because I saw that the Popo made a post and it said something like this. My brother might go to hell, but he won't go alone. So people, that tells you everything. That tells you what they were thinking. We are speaking about revenge is a must. Point blank and period. Now based on the information that is out there by the Popo, it is said that this morning when the Popo went to the house, based on their intelligence, there were at least three gunmen in the house based on information that they got. And the intelligence also revealed that one of those persons is an ex-US Marine. So people, we are talking about somebody that fight in the Gulf War. We are talking about back in the 80s or 90s, somewhere about there. And based on the information, it is also said that he was recruited by the Don for basically take care of some turf war. So people, we are talking about the Don is recruiting people. We are speaking about experts in war. So people, like I said before, based on the information from the intelligence of the Popo, it is said that when they went to the house, they were expecting at least three persons, may I talk about three thugs. However, it seems like the thugs, they were also expecting the Popo because it seems as if they were tipped off. So people, let me ask this question. Who do you think tipped them off? Do you think it is other corrupted Popo? People, let me know what you think in the comment section. The police intelligence also revealed that after the incident, it is said that the three gunmen 
escape by the train tracks we are speaking about at the back of the house and they are said to be now in Manchester we are speaking about Mandeville so people let me know what you think in the comment section do you think that somebody is squealing do you think that somebody is talking do you think that somebody is getting paid under the table may I talk about a popo I am speaking about a very high ranking popo that is giving information to these thugs so people while the popo is supposed to be on one side it seems as if there is some sort of mole it seems as if there is some sort of snitch it seems as if there is some sort of bad apple in the bunch point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. One word. Don't put any space between the words. And I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also subscribe to this channel where I'm speaking about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon. And also press all in the option. Now after this incident that took place this morning in which four popo got conned up. We see that there was an outcry by the community. We are speaking about Jamaicans on a whole and people were saying that we see the polar opposite reaction when the popo gets slapped away versus when somebody in the garrison, especially when that person is a thug, especially when that person is a known bad man or a known gangster. So people, it seems as if people are saying that Jamaicans have their priority wrong because nobody is out protesting after the popo basically gets slapped up. However, there were a lot of persons that supported the popo because the truth and the fact is that most Jamaicans are law-abiding citizens. Most Jamaicans want to see Jamaica do better. However, when we talk about wrong, wrong is wrong and right is right. So whether it is done or perpetuated by the popo or the gangsters or the thugs, it is still wrong. So people, the point that I am trying to make is that is this going to be a watershed moment where people start to respect the popo? Is this going to be a moment where Jamaica sees some sort of change, where people start to take their priority and want to make sure that Jamaica is doing much better and make sure that Jamaica is crime free? People, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think that this is going to be the incident or do you think that this is just going to be a next day in paradise, just another day in paradise? So anyways, people, like I said before, there has been a lot of outcry we are speaking about on social media and one in particular basically got my attention. So people, take a listen, take a look and then I'll give my peace. You know, my heart bleeds this morning. My heart bleeds this morning for these policemen. When bad man dead, road black. People black road. I said them innocent. Road black. A black off road. Peer problem. No, when we are at our bed sleeping at night. These police officers are out there serving and protect. When we at our bed sleeping at night, they are risking their lives. Their life are on the line protecting ours. Where are the demonstrations this morning? Where are the demonstrations this morning for these men? Where are the demonstrations? My heart bleeds. I have families that are police officers. My heart bleed this morning. Where are the demonstration people of Jamaica? Their life matters. They are human. They are somebody's son. They are somebody's brother. They are somebody's father. They are somebody's husband or somebody's baby father. They are somebody's family. They are you man where is the demonstration this morning where are the people that are demonstrating where come on people come on jamaica they are you man they are serving they are protecting they are on the front line their life is at risk. Their job is not easy. Where are 
had a demonstration for them this morning. We had a demonstration for them this morning. Who demonstrated for these police officers this morning? They didn't deserve this. They did not deserve this this morning. They did not deserve it. Who demonstrated for them? Who demonstrated for them this morning? Who demonstrated for them their life matters? Now, people, the moral of the story in all of this is that our lives matters. Whether it is the Pope or whether it is the common man, whether it is somebody living in the garrison or living uptown, everybody life matter and we are speaking about persons that are legal law-abiding citizens if they are not troublemaker or if they are not violent producer they should not be taken out i am saying if you are innocent you should live a life without being taken out by somebody unjustifiably so so the point that I am trying to make is that there is good and bad in everybody. There are good persons. Most of the persons living in the garrison, it is because of financial or economic reason why they are stuck there. And sometimes some people just lazy and don't really put in the fight. Also, as it pertains to the popo, there are good popo and there are a lot of bad popo. And what happens is that whenever the bad popo are the security force, may I talk about the JCF or the JDF, they go out there and they violate people, them slap with people, them abuse people. It makes it look bad for everybody. And likewise for the garrison, I am speaking about these gunmen, these thugs, whenever they go out and they commit a sort of atrocity, it makes everybody in the garrison look bad, especially when they take back these proceeds of crime to these communities, to these garrisons, and these people are celebrating and taking money. We are speaking about proceeds of crime. People, you are also guilty of the act because if you partake in any sort of crime, you are also to be fingered or pointed out because you are encouraging it because of your taking or your partaking in the deed, point blank and period. So the point that I am trying to make again is this. There is a dislike for people in the garrison by the popo, and there is also dislike for the popo by people in the garrison. And if they don't come together and unite, it is always going to be like it is right now. And people are going to die. We are speaking about good popo and also innocent persons. So therefore, if we don't communicate, if we don't bridge that gap as it pertains to the communication, then every day, every month, every year, we are going to have the same problem on people. This problem has been going on for decades. We are talking about maybe from 1960, 1970, 1980, 1990, 2000, 2010, 2020, the same problem. So people like them say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up